The skies above the Philippines, long watched over by aging aircraft and familiar silhouettes, are about to witness a new kind of hawk, sleek, powerful, and brimming with cutting-edge technology. South Korea's KF-21 Boramai, a next-generation fighter jet developed with advanced avionics and stealth features, is set for a landmark demonstration in 2026, marking its first appearance in Southeast Asia. This isn't just another air show, it's a pivotal moment for the Philippine Air Force's modernization, a chance to witness firsthand the future of aerial warfare and national defense. The Boramai, meaning Young Hawk, symbolizes a leap into a new era of air power, representing hope and ambition for both South Korea and the Philippines. Years of growing defense ties between Manila and Seoul have led to this moment, built on trust, shared interests, and a mutual desire for regional stability. The PAF, eager to upgrade from aging aircraft that have served for decades, sees the KF-21 as a potential backbone for its fleet, promising reliability and technological superiority for years to come. This live demo lets the PAF evaluate the jet's capabilities up close, its agility in the air, blistering speed, and advanced systems like radar, electronic warfare, and weapons integration, all crucial for modern combat scenarios. For the Philippines, acquiring a 4.5 generation fighter would be a game changer, leveling the regional playing field and enhancing the country's ability to defend its vast maritime borders. The event is more than a sales pitch, it's a strategic dialogue at supersonic speed, where every maneuver and system demonstration could shape the future of Philippine air defense. South Korea's willingness to showcase its most advanced fighter signals, deepening trust and partnership, opening doors for future collaboration in training maintenance, and technology transfer. The Boramai's overseas debut is a bold move, positioning the Philippines as a possible first customer outside Korea, and signaling to the world that the archipelago is ready to embrace next-generation defense. Soon, the roar of its engines could mark a new security reality for the archipelago, inspiring confidence in the nation's skies and sending a clear message of deterrence to would-be challengers. For the Philippine Air Force, the KF-21 demonstration is more than just a display of cutting-edge technology. It's a pivotal moment in the nation's ongoing quest for a modern, capable Air Force. As the PAF looks to the future, this event marks a crucial step in its ambitious modernization journey, signaling a commitment to strengthening national defense and regional security. The PAF's Flight Plan 2028 outlines a clear vision to acquire a true multi-role fighter that can secure the nation's skies against evolving threats. This plan is not just about upgrading hardware, but about transforming the PAF into a force ready to meet the challenges of the 21st century. While the current FA-50PH fleet has served the PAF well, providing reliable performance and training, it lacks the advanced capabilities needed for true air superiority. The PAF recognizes the need for a next-generation platform that can keep pace with regional developments and deter potential adversaries. The KF-21 Boramai stands out with its greater operational range, larger payload capacity, and state-of-the-art sensors, features that represent a significant leap forward for the PAF. These upgrades are essential for maintaining a credible deterrent and ensuring the Philippines can respond swiftly to any aerial threat. This live demonstration provides PAF pilots and tacticians with a rare opportunity to assess the jet's real-world performance, handling, and potential for integration with existing assets. It's a hands-on experience that goes beyond brochures and technical briefings. By witnessing the aircraft in action, defense officials can verify manufacturer claims, ask critical questions, and de-risk what could be one of the most significant procurements in PF history, long before any contracts are signed. Modern fighter jets are not only expensive but also highly complex. A misstep in selection can lock the PAF into decades of operational and logistical challenges, making careful evaluation absolutely vital. Direct observation and hands-on inspection ensure that the chosen jet will truly fit the Philippines' unique operational environment, climate, and mission requirements. Ultimately, the KF-21 demo is about building confidence, not just in the aircraft itself, but in the investment and the growing defense partnership with South Korea. It's a foundation for trust and future collaboration. The PAF needs a fighter that can secure its vast airspace, protect its people, and safeguard its sovereignty for the next generation and beyond. The Boramai's visit is more than a demonstration. It's the first step in deciding if this advanced hawk will become the guardian of the Philippines' future skies, shaping the nation's air defense for years to come. 
The KF-21 Baramai is packed with cutting-edge technology, representing a major leap forward in modern fighter jet design. Every aspect of this aircraft has been engineered for performance, survivability, and versatility, making it a standout in its class. It firmly belongs to the 4.5 generation class, bridging the gap between legacy fighters and the most advanced fifth generation jets. This means it combines proven technologies with next-level innovations. At its core is an advanced AESA radar system, capable of tracking multiple targets simultaneously with incredible speed and precision. This gives pilots a decisive edge in both offensive and defensive scenarios, allowing them to react faster than ever before. Powering the KF-21 are twin GE F4 and 14 engines, which deliver rapid acceleration, Mach 1.8 top speeds, and exceptional maneuverability. These engines ensure the jet can outpace and outmaneuver many adversaries in the sky. Expect the demonstration to feature high G-turns, steep vertical climbs, and dramatic aerial maneuvers, clear proof of its dogfighting prowess and agility in close combat situations. The KF-21 is also a formidable weapons platform able to carry a wide array of advanced munitions including Meteor air-to-air -air missiles and precision-guided bombs for striking ground targets with pinpoint accuracy. Multiple hardpoints under the wings and fuselage allow for flexible mission configurations supporting roles from air defense and interception to ground attack and reconnaissance. Stealthy design features, such as angled surfaces and radar-absorbing coatings, significantly reduce its radar signature making it much harder to detect and track than older fighters. During the demo you'll likely see simulated stealth approaches and advanced sensor performance highlighting how the KF-21 can evade enemy detection and track threats with precision. This unique blend of state-of-the-art sensors, powerful engines, versatile armament, and low observability makes the KF-21 a compelling and future-ready choice for any Air Force seeking a technological edge. The Philippine Air Force will witness firsthand how these advanced features translate into real operational advantages, potentially shaping the future of their aerial capabilities. The PAF's fighter search is a three-way contest. KF-21 F-16V Viper and Saab Gripen E, the F-16V offers a proven track record and deep U.S.-Philippine ties, plus a vast arsenal. The Gripen E boasts low operating costs, easy maintenance, and advanced European tech. The KF-21 aims for the sweet spot twin engines, modern design, and regional partnership. Unlike the F-16V's older airframe, the KF-21 is a fresh, upgrade-ready platform. Twin engines offer safety for maritime missions, a key edge over the single-engine Gripen. The Boramai's biggest selling point near 5th Gen features, without the F-35's price tag, and a trusted Korean partner. The demo is KAI's chance to prove the KF-21 isn't just a compromise. It do PNMD did run. The superior blend of performance and partnership. The path to KF-21 acquisition is filled with hurdles. The jet is still in development. Delays in testing or integration could affect delivery timelines. Budget is a major challenge. Acquiring advanced fighters is a massive, multi-billion dollar commitment. The government must balance defense needs with other priorities, making approval complex. Competition from the F-16V and Gripen E is fierce, with both offering attractive financing and support. Indonesia's shaky partnership in the KF-21 Darali Anar Dar a Marcus Furry, Odin Dogram, Honor Arer, Tonan Jordani, Imber Dari Durad Impact, Costs and Schedules. South Korea must present a compelling offer that goes beyond technical specs. Overcoming these challenges is essential before the Boramai can join the PAF. The KF-21 deal is about more than jets, it's about building a strategic and industrial alliance. KAI offers technology transfer and local production, creating high-tech jobs and a domestic support base. In-country sustainment means lower long-term costs and greater self-reliance for the Philippines. Industrial cooperation lets the Philippines become a true partner, not just a customer. Shared production and tech uplift are major incentives against rival offers. Operating the same fighter as South Korea, boosts interoperability and joint training. The FA-50 program's success has built trust. The KF-21 would deepen this relationship. Commonality simplifies training and logistics, easing the transition for pilots and crews. The deal would symbolize a strengthened Manila-Seoul alliance, visible in the skies. 
This holistic approach makes the KF-21 uniquely attractive for the Philippines' future. A successful KF-21 demo will resonate far beyond the military. Seeing a state-of-the-art jet in Philippine skies makes defense spending real for the public, building national pride. Public enthusiasm can translate into political will, making it easier for lawmakers to approve funding. The demo sparks national conversation and educates both citizens and leaders on modern air defense needs. It demystifies military aviation and highlights the importance of credible deterrence. A thrilling demo boosts morale within the armed forces, showing their service is valued. This momentum can drive the entire AFP modernization program forward. The 2026 demo is a hands-on test no simulation can match. PF pilots may fly the two-seat KF-21, assessing cockpit ergonomics and flight controls firsthand. Maintenance crews will inspect the jet's design, accessibility, and support equipment. Real-world evaluation reveals true, long-term costs and operational fit. Testing sensors in Philippine conditions validates performance claims. Direct engagement builds trust and transparency between the PAF and KAI. This process gives the PAF the data it needs for a confident, informed decision. The KF-21 demo is more than a sales pitch, it's the dawn of a new era for Philippine air defense. Acquiring a 4.5 generation fighter would be the PAF's biggest leap in half a century. It would shift the PAF from limited air policing to credible air superiority and deterrence. AESA radar and long-range missiles would give the Philippines a true shield over its territory. A modern fighter fleet multiplies the effectiveness of the entire military. The roar of the Boramai over Manila would signal ambition, turning into reality. More than a new jet, it would be a symbol of national resolve and a guardian for the future. 